Good morning and welcome to Atherton On Air. I'm Isaac Smith. And I'm Max Taggart. Here's what's trending. As you know, February is Black History Month. It began in 1926 as a week to honor African American achievements. Here's an Atherton student, Kai Mays, with a snippet of a poem to honor black history. This is Still I Rise by Maya Angelou. You may write me down in history with your bitter twisted lies. You may trod me down in the very dirt, but still, like dust, I'll rise. Does my sassiness upset you? Why are you beset with gloom? Cause I walk like I've got oil wells pumping in my living room. Just like moons and like suns with the certainty of tides, just like hopes springing high, still I'll rise. Did you want to see me broken? Bowed head and lowered eyes? Shoulders falling down like teardrops weakened by my soulful cries. Does my haughtiness offend you? Don't you take it awful hard? Cause I laugh like I've got gold mines digging in my own backyard. Stay tuned for the full poem uploaded later today on the same YouTube channel that this was uploaded on. Recently, Mr. Ellard's classes had had the opportunity to talk with a Holocaust education guest speaker. Mr. Pinner is a retired teacher who taught at Atherton for 30 years. In his years teaching here, Mr. Pinner taught an entire class strictly about the Holocaust. He is definitely a great educator to talk with about his important topic. Take a look. Well, I'm, I'm talking to Mr. Ellard's class. He teaches the class on World War II and does a unit on the Holocaust. And actually last year I did it on Zoom. I always told him when I left that I would you know, come talk to his classes. So I'm just covering a couple of areas that, um, from his unit and I'm gonna come back next Friday. We talked about anti-Semitism, the other victims, and throw in some other things. And there are some good questions as well from some of the students. So yeah, just kind of maybe in, just add a little more content to his you know, unit on the Holocaust. I think all you gotta do is look at the news every day with all the things going on with these groups that are anti-immigrant. Obviously anti-Semitism has been on the increase. There's autocratic uh, systems developing in Europe and even some people might even say we had that uh, little authoritarian type system here. The banning of books, for example, taking away people's learning about these things. But, and a word I don't like to use, but I use it in the context. The idea of hate against folks, minorities especially, whether it's uh, Islamic, Islamophobia, homophobia, anti-Semitism, all that stuff is still too much around. It's not going to ever disappear. But Holocaust, learning about how, what happens to when it gets to the extent it did in the Holocaust is a way of teaching to try to prevent this kind of thing from, this kind of hatred from continuing. Thank you, Mr. Penner, for this learning experience. In other classroom news, Ms. Bowden's classes recently conducted a bloody experiment. Watch as these students learned about functions using fake blood. Okay, so we had a scenario where Nurse Nina was um, carrying three bags of blood stat to a patient, but one of the bags had a hole in it. And so the situation was, well, what kind of pattern did it leave on the floor? And so we experimented with it, and what ends up happening is that they have a sine curve that, create, that is created. And so this was an introductory lex lesson so that we can look to see um, if we move the paper faster, if the amplitude was going to get bigger, or if the wave was going to get wider for the period. Um, so we were just kind of trying to introduce some and get some excitement about some of the vocabulary that we're going to start with uh, our new chapter. Thanks, Ms. Bowden. We love to see all the interesting ways students have been learning these past few weeks. On another note, the basketball team has recently gotten together for senior night. Here's an interview from Bella Schmucky, the only senior on the girls' team, as well as some footage from the guys' senior night. So, like, what does being a leader and role model look like for uh, your team? It means looking out for them, helping them with their homework, obviously leading them on the court, but also off the court, too. After you graduated, like, are there any kind of milestones you want to see the team like get in the next coming years? I don't know. I think the last couple of years we've been placing in districts and going to regionals. I think my goal for our team is to make it a little bit farther in regionals. How did how has COVID affected your like experience with playing? For you? Oh my gosh, last year sucked. All of our games were in February and March and a lot of them were with masks on which was not very fun. And then we had a lot of games that got canceled and rescheduled and this year our team got COVID in December right after a big win and so we had to take two weeks off. I don't know. I think that we're very lucky to have gotten to, have gotten to play during COVID, but it has like thrown a lot of wrench into a normal season. 
yeah, all right, since we're on the topic, what are, like, some other things that you do outside of basketball that you consider, like, hobbies or skills you have? Um, <laughs> basketball consumes most of my time, but I am a full IB diploma candidate. I um, do aerial circus. I enjoy spending time with my boyfriend and my siblings and my friends. Congratulations, seniors. Now it's time for today's hallway headlines. Congratulations to the chess team on their huge win against the previously undefeated Valley High School. Now the team is moving on to the championship round. This is a huge achievement. Thank you to the Environmental Club for picking up trash around Atherton's campus last Wednesday afternoon. Good job, Environmental Club. For those of you in a language class, stop by rooms 204, 207, and 208 for a World Language Mardi Gras celebration on Monday, February 28th at 2.30. Seniors, please be sure to purchase your cap and gowns if you haven't already. If they are not ordered before March 1st, they will not arrive on time for graduation. Well, that's all the time we have for today. Thanks for watching Atherton on Air, and be sure to keep tuning in for all your up-to-date school news. Rock, Rock on, Ravens! Raven.